In this example, we're going to look at how to unreverse reversed scores in a multi-item measure, and then we're going to create a composite variable from the different uh, data that we have. Now, in this example, let's suppose that we're studying the relationship between age and extroversion. Do, does extroversion change as people get older? Um, and I'll give you a hint. Actually, it does. Um, people get a little less extroverted as they get older. But let's just look at the data that we have here. Here we have one column where we've got the participant number. We've got their age. And then we have data on three questions concerning extroversion. So this would be some type of scale measuring extroversion. And it's measured on a Likert scale or Likert scale. You can pronounce it either way. And the directions are indicate how much you agree with the following statements where one is strongly disagree. So that's not at all you. And five is strongly agree. And then we just have three simple statements. I talk a lot. So if you strongly disagree with that, you're probably not very extroverted. And if you strongly agree, you're probably more extroverted. Then number two is, I'm a rather quiet person. And this is the reverse of the first question. So a one would mean that you disagree that you're a quiet person, which probably means you're more extroverted. Um, a five, that you strongly agree, would mean that you're less extroverted. And then three, I like taking control of a situation, which is uh, also, uh, uh, that's a, it's kind of a measure of dominance, which is strongly associated with, uh, 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 with everything else that's associated with, with extroversion. So we've got two uh, unreversed measures, one and three, and then one unreversed measure. I'm a rather quiet person. Now, the reason that we ask reversed questions is because they get a little, they allow things to be a little bit more nuanced. Probably there's a lot of people who would say, oh yeah, I talk a lot, especially when I'm with friends. But they might also agree with, I'm a rather quiet person, because when they're, when they're not with friends, they don't talk too much. And so someone who uh, scores a five on one, I talk a lot but scores a one or a two on I'm a rather quiet person is probably less extroverted than someone that would score five for both of those. Um, so that's what we have here. We've got data. The first item I called extroversion one, EXT one. The second one I called EXT two because it's our second question measuring extroversion, our second item, but it's reversed scores. So I put in the letters REV so that we know that the high scores mean introvert and the low scores mean extroverted and then we have extroversion three which is also unreversed where the low scores mean introversion and the high scores mean extroversion now what we need to do is we need to get the reverse scores unreversed and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, insert a column into our table so i'm going to two finger click on column e and or left click and I'm going to press insert and that inserted a new t uh, column into our table and Excel read our mind it knew that we were going to call it ext2 because it saw that there was an ext1 there and now we need to unreverse these scores and the way that we can do it is with this formula here that the unreversed score equals the highest score possible plus the lowest score possible minus the reversed score. Now this is a one to five scale, so the highest score possible is five, and the lowest score possible is one. So we're gonna say that the unreversed score is five plus one minus the reversed score, or six minus the reversed score. So we're gonna put that in the formula here. So I click in the cell, and I'm gonna use an Excel formula, equals six minus, now I'm going to put the cell number, the cell identification, cell location for the reverse score, which is F5. So I'm going to type in F5 there. And there it's circled. You mean this cell? And I mean, yep, that's my cell. And now I'm going to press Enter. And because this is a table, an Excel table, it calculated everything for us. And so the 3 became a 3, a 1 became a 5, a 2 became a 4, a 4 became a 2. So the the reverse scores became their opposite. 
Now, you might say, well, we don't need the reverse scores anymore, and so let's delete them. Now, if I select that column, and if I delete it, watch what happens. <gasps> Everything messed up on our unreversed scores. So let's, let's undo that. Let's do Control Z. The reason for that is that the when we look at the formula cell for what's actually in the cell, we've got a formula equals 6 minus F5. So if we delete column F, everything gets messed up. So what we need to do is we need to convert all these calculated variables into just numbers, values. So I go into that cell, the top one in the column, and I press shift down arrow to select all of these. Now I do control C for copy. And I'm going to go on the Home tab, there's Paste, and there's a down arrow for different paste options. And I'm going to paste Values. And that's going to change the formulas to Numbers. And so I've done that now. And when I go up to the Formula bar, we, we have just Numbers there. Now, you might have these little uh, dotted lines moving. That just shows that it's select. I'm going to press Escape to stop it. Now, I can go to column F, I can select it by clicking on it, and then with the options with the two-fingered clip, click, I can delete it, and now the, I've got the unreversed scores for all three items, extra version 1, extra version 2, and extra version 3. So that's, uh, um, we've gotten rid of the reverse scores, and they all mean the same thing. One means low extroversion, or introversion, and five means high extroversion. Now, what we need to do when we measure the uh, different, uh, um, when we've, we've got, we had three items on extroversion, we need to put them together in a composite variable. And for the composite variable takes all the nuances that are in each question and combines them all into one uh, uh, one, uh, one one score that should be better than any individual score since each uh, each of the individual uh, items are measuring some aspect of uh, extroversion. If we average them all together, we should get uh, all the uh, um, uh, aspects that we measured together. So we need to add another column to this table. So I'm going to type right next to the, the heading table there. I'm going to type extroversion. And I type enter. And Excel knows that it wants to go into the table. And now what I need to do is I need to um, put all these variables together. Now there's two ways that we could do it. We could just add them all up. And that works mathematically. That will we can look for a correlation between age and adding them all up. But if we take the average, then the meaning one strongly disagree to five strongly agree stays the same. So let's put in, uh, let's just take the average of these three items that we have. So I have equals, average, and then open parentheses. And I start with the first cell that I want to take the average of, D5. Then I press two dots, and the last cell is F5, and so it 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 highlighted all the cells from from D5 to F5, asking me to make sure that that's what I want. It is. Now I press close parentheses, and this command will calculate the average for those three scores. And because it's in a table, it does it for all of the columns. Now let's let's make this a lot easier to read. So look, we've got like almost a whole got several dozen numbers here. They're not very pretty. Let's round these numbers off first. So I'm going to select column G, and then on the Home tab, I'm going to go to this section for for the number formatting, and I'm going to change it from General to Number. And now that looks a lot better. Um, we can read those numbers uh, uh, very well. And we can, um, we've got scores for extra version for, uh, for everybody. And we've got their age, and we could measure the correlation now. Now, you might, be, you might realize that, well, we don't need these individual scores uh, anymore for the calculation. So we can um, delete those, except these extra version scores are formulas. 
So let's let's select all of these cells. And so I did that by dragging the handle down. I could have done that with shift down arrow. And I'm going to copy them, control C, and then I'm going to go to paste again, paste values, and turn off that blinking light. And now we have in the formula bars, we have numbers rather than um, formulas. So I can go ahead and delete these. The, the, the individual items. Now, of course, I'd keep a backup of this with my original data, but if I'm working in a data set that has like 20 variables, I don't want to have 60 columns. I just want the, the columns with my main variable, and this enables us to uh, uh, get the, uh, um, the, the composite variable, extra version, and we've got the other variable that we're looking at, age, in columns right next to each other, and it's easier to read our data table this way. Now at Azusa Pacific, something that we like to do because we're a, a Christian college committed to following Jesus Christ, is we like to reflect on some of these uh, uh, ideas and link them to biblical concepts. So if this doesn't interest you, you can turn the video off uh, now. But if it does, on this next tab here, um, this uh, uh, problem made me reminded me of a, a verse in Proverbs, the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament. It says, the first to plead his case seems right, until another comes and examines him. And the idea here is that humans have biases, and we have self-serving self biases. We like to present ourselves in the most positive light, and that's one of the reasons why we have uh, reversed scores, because it helps us to think about things from a different point of view. So on the extroversion, I'm a talkative person. Oh yeah, I like thinking of myself as friendly and outgoing, and so I'll give myself a high score there. But then, oh, am, uh, am I a quiet person? Well, I think about it, and yeah, a lot of times I am a quiet person, um, and I just kind of prefer listening and not, not saying a whole lot sometimes. And so I might give my, uh, uh, myself a, a, um, a high score there also. And when we reverse score, those two, these two kind of... Uh, biases, the two ways that I tend to see myself in a positive way, kind of balance out. And so that's uh, one of the purposes of uh, using reverse scores and using comp composite variables is to kind of wipe out some of these biases that we have. And we always need to admit that, yeah, we are biased in what we say, and other people are going to be biased in what they say. And so if there's some way that we can um, listen to both sides of a story, ask different questions, get different perspectives, we'll get a lot closer to the truth. So the first to plead his case seems right until another comes and examines him.